Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's Whiskey Tango Fox back with a, uh, another Farming Simulator 19 video. Uh, today I want to talk about something simple. Getting money. Because apparently, when you start out in this game, obviously we're still, you know, pretty new. And no, our line truck is not done. Still got a whole half a field to do over here. But, uh... Now I just wanted to talk about, you know, my fast way, I guess. Not necessarily fast, because it does take time, it does take work, and you actually have to do stuff, versus, you know, some of these PC mods that are out there that, you know, you can just place stuff and leave it, and it'll make money for you. And that's all well and cool, but we, you know, over here on the PS4 side, we don't have that. You know, obviously, PC and all their, their goodness and stuff like that, that's great. You know, that's great for them. You know, they can have that, they can do that, whatever. So, how do how are we supposed to get, you know, pretty easy money over here? It's actually pretty simple. Now, you have your farm, and, you know, you've tilled your farm, you've done everything that, you, you know, you need to. You've uh, harvested it a few times, you've, you know, limed it, you fertilize it twice like you're supposed to, whatever, 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 and it's just not cutting it because you're working for you know, a loan, let's see, yeah, right now our loan is $300,000, and we're kind of cutting it close up there, you know, getting our loan paid off, but, you know, I want to have a little bit more money than that, so, what do we do, now, the game has this nifty little setup, because there's all these other fields on the map that you don't own, let's see, go back to the map, all right, scroll out, so, Obviously our fields are in green and everybody else's fields are up in in white, I guess if you want to call it that or whatever. So if you go over here, check out the uh contracts. Now if you look, this one's really simple. Twenty-eight thousand dollars to fertilize freaking field eight. And you know, if we don't want to use our equipment, we could always use theirs. And uh just buy the fertilizer. That's all we got to do, right? So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and borrow items. Now we've accepted that that contract. Scroll through. Oh, there we go. This is our guy, right? Now let's push this. I'm pretty sure this is oats, but let's push this out the way. All right. So we've leased both of these tractors. It didn't really cost us that much to do. Um, it's going to drop 4000 off of our in, in price or whatever. You know, whatever you want to do with that. If you want to use your tools, say, you know, you have a sprayer or whatever, go ahead and use them. There's nothing that says, you know, you can't use your own sprayer and your own stuff. It may take you a little bit longer because a lot of their tools are set up for those fields. Now what we're going to do... So we're going to go in here, and they want fertilized. So grab a fertilizer tank. We only need one. And if you've already got one, great. You know, Come back here and refill that sprayer up. Really, really simple. Fill this guy, and then we'll drive him up to field 8, which is the, probably the biggest field on the map, which is why this big giant sprayer here is going to be the one doing the work for us and yeah it's going to cost you a little bit of money so you know those of you guys who who have a little bit of money that's great go ahead and you know you can do this and get more money if you don't have you know a lot of money go ahead and keep harvesting your fields a couple more times and try to you know save a little bit up if you've got equipment that you don't use sell it you know you could always buy it back later when you got more money I think that, you know, that big a deal. Slowest tractor in all the land. It's going here. You know, it's not that big a deal. So, and all we're going to do is go up here, and we're going to set this guy up, and then we're just going to leave him and forget about him until it's done. Super easy. And after we get done with this, it'll probably have another, like, little contract for us to do. Because I've actually sown this field and harvested it already for, I think I harvested it for like 50 grand, something like that. I don't know how big this thing is, so 
go ahead and uh, good lord at the sprayer. Let's see if we can. Oh, it's even wider. We're going to take over the whole street. Alright, come over here. This thing is squirrely. Straighten her up. Now, if we miss a little bit on that side, that's okay. Because you don't have to completely do the whole field for 100%, which is, you know, what I like about it the most. Right, let's see. Uh, shoot it. Shoot that in back a little bit there. This thing is squirrely. Now, I usually use my sprayer, but my sprayer is actually currently working on something else at our place. And we'll get to that. Come on now, sprayer. I know you hate me, but, you know, you don't have to hate me that bad. Screw it. Spray away. Alright, so you hire your worker, right? If you see up in the top right, we're losing money for spraying, and that's fine. You ain't got to worry about that. And from here, you just go about your business. So, you know, along with this video on the whole sprayer deal and sprayer issue while we're waiting on this guy, we're going to go ahead up and find my other tractor, this guy. And we're going to go over here and start you know, uh, plowing and seeding this field and getting it ready for harvest. At the same time, we're going to be making other, you know, money at the other field. Works out. You know, we're not just going to sit and wait and watch that field be done. We're going to keep working ourselves. That way, you know, you still kind of have that in the works over there. So drop this guy off here. And come over here. Eventually, I definitely want to get into a bigger cedar because this one is no longer, I don't know, it never really was the perfect cedar for us. Uh, I kind of wish we would have went with the bigger one to start off with because it takes less time. Okay, there we go. And uh, just let this guy do his job and when we come back, we should have a little bit more money in our pocket. Alright, see you in a bit. Welcome back. So, it looks like our guy is just about finished up here. And uh, if you noticed, I think we started out with around 190,000 or something like that. And we're down to 177, 439. Use a calculator. Um, so we probably spent around, well, we'll more than likely spend around 13,000 on this field, uh, which we'll make up our cost of actually fertilizing with our personal field because we can make up to 20 grand on this setup alone and that should offset the actual cost of us you know hiring the worker and i don't know what he's doing dismiss let's check our contract it's 99 percent done because this dude skips some stuff so what we'll do since it's 99% done, we'll turn the sprayer on and we'll run it ourselves. There it is. So now that's done, turn off the sprayer, save the money. And all you got to do is come back in here and hit square, collect. Now that put us up to 203. So we made around 10 grand on that one. Um, the fertilizing one, because fertilizer costs so much, you will spend a little bit more on, it, especially like these bigger fields, like 8, 11, four and five i think seven is another really bad one and 13 but if you can get stuff like let's look let's see if i can find a uh a decent price and all you got to do is just go through these uh bailing 10 grand i don't want to do that not a big fan of bailing because you have to mow and you know that stuff and you got to lease all you know all that equipment which is going to cost quite a bit of money uh, fertilizing field 11 with this thing, like 18,000, I don't want to do that one again. So let's go, 
borrow items. So that's borrowed. Come back out here. We're up to 203. Our tractor's nearly done plowing, and as soon as he gets done plowing, we'll, uh... Oh, I don't want that. Uh, how do I unload? There we go. So, let's buy some more fertilizer. 3200 for that. Uh, let's go on this side of it. Now this sprayer might even work out to be a little bit better for us too, because I'm pretty sure it's bigger. Let's refill that. Alright. Now what? Field? Field 11? Oh yeah, Field 11 is one of those wonky ones. So we'll have to take note of that. Go ahead and head up here. This is a nice piece of machinery. Hmm. I'd drive it. Yeah, that, that other sprayer, I mean, I like if it's got a wide, you know, spray and everything else on that. The, the PTO shaft kept, I don't know, it looked like it kept, like, popping out or something, like, glitching out. And I don't know if, you know, some of you guys watching or not, like, farm in real life or whatever, but if your PTO shaft falls out, it's not just going to magnetically put itself back in. You know, give it to the game to do that for you. That's, you know, that's amazing. But it just, you know, it, I don't know, it just like, it kept like falling out and going right back in every time he went around a turn. I don't know. So we take this guy up here. Uh, yeah, we're nearly there. I've actually done some work on this field too. Uh, field 11. To do some testing. Which is kind of cool. And I don't really know how I want to set this up because it is an oblong shape or you know a weird polygon type shape so I'm actually debating on whether or not to start from the other end and kind of square it out or just square it out from here I don't know let's, let's see let's see what we got now this is another one of those like really large fields it's it's definitely wider than eight but the link, you know, the link I can kind of deal with. But, you know, that's okay. Ooh. Massive jumps. Big old tires. Right, let's load our mat back down. Let's unfold this guy. Massive giant sprayer. Look at that. That thing is crazy. Get this guy over here. Now, eventually, when we do buy these, you know, these plots, we'll be using sprayers and stuff like this. But I want to have a setup for each field because I want each field to do something different. You know, not everything canola or everything oat or whatever. You know, I want them all to have each their own tractors, um, each their own tippers, you know, stuff like that. Which would be really cool. So, can I zoom out even more? I just want to see. Okay, go ahead and hire him up and have him working for us. So we started off with just a little over 200k on this one. I'll just write that write that down. 200,000 something something something. And since our cedar is done, we can go ahead and drag him back over here. Now the whole. You know, the whole time we're doing these contracts, we're definitely prepping this field. And, you know, we're going to prep it. We, we already fertilized it. We already limed it. We already, you know, sowed the seed, plowed the field, whatever. Now we have to get it to its first growth stage. So let's go ahead and fast forward time. And I'll bring you guys back when I start spraying this field. All right. See you in a bit. Just a quick second while I was looking at something. This thing has jets behind its rear tires so it doesn't miss any spots. That is cool. Like, attention to detail in this game is absolutely ridiculous. That is craziness. Alright, yeah, that's all I want to say. Alright, I'll bring you guys back in there. Welcome back again. So, our field has started uh, to change. Get some lightage going here. I don't know if... Uh, 
Oh, you can definitely tell that other sprayer's on. Look at that money go. Buy money. More money, more freaking problems. At least these tractors don't break down. That's, you know, kind of cool. You can repair them on the fly. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get this guy sprayed up for the second time. Obviously up here it's 50%. If I can turn around. I turn around. Yeah, yeah. Back here it's 100%, so that's awesome. Now this whole field is canola. Uh, I have really good, you know, what do you call it? I have really good luck with canola and its sell prices, like right now. Uh, yeah, the restaurant. The restaurant's selling it for 1300 That's subject to change. But usually I like to stick around the 1200 or above mark, depending on, you know, where I'm going to take it. And I definitely will take it all the way across the map if I need to. Bring in that extra dollar or two. Let's see, the, let's check on... Oh, I could do it from here. So he's definitely... What did, what did that say? He's by nearly halfway through up there. Such a large sprayer, though. Uh, you know what? Let's check the price on that sprayer, too. Over here. Fertilite. Oh, crop protection. Oh, it's not in here. So where do we find it? Crop protection right there. $489,000 piece of equipment. That is nuts. You know, while I'm sitting here, I wonder how much one of these goes for online. Like the real the real deal ones. Oh. The list price for a well equipped well equipped Rubicon nine thousand is four hundred and ninety six thousand dollars. Wow, and that could be more or less too. Like I'm actually looking at the equipment. That is nuts. Half a million dollars for that? For a freaking couple booms and some jets and some pumps? Like Oh well you gotta factor in too. The wheels, which probably cost you around three, four grand or more. And the engine, which probably cost him like 40 freaking grand or more. He's gonna run into that train. Oh, maybe not. He might be smart enough not to do it. Yeah. That's how you hire good drivers. What does he look like? Oh. Okay. We got a farmer lady over here. She's putting in good word. That's right. The people who drive these things, I bet you they make pretty decent money too. Like the one, you know, the IRL ones. That's pretty crazy. Alright, so when he finishes up here and our sprayer decides that it doesn't want to, you know, spray anymore because of how our field is set up. We literally have to stop the sprayer every time and come back and set it back on its line again. On the new line. Because it wants to go it wants to spray all the way down where there's no field and then turn around and come back and waste a bunch of money. So typically oh turn the right way. Whiskey. Jesus. Remember my first field. Alright, so our sprayer line ends right around in here, somewhere. You see how it's kind of on our left over there? See how it's kind of dark, kind of light? We may have it. Oh, we'll miss a spot. Ah, that's okay. It's not really going to change the harvest that much. Now, as soon as he gets up here, I'm talking here since it's less loud, uh, you can see we have a divot right over here right next to that front tire and then there's another huge one right up here where that there uh, there was a tree right around in here we may have to do some more landscaping I, as you can see the fields kinda messed up there because I tried to fix it already but yeah there's a huge dip there see that 
That is nuts. We're going to have to fix that. When you buy fields, go ahead and square them up. Because you'll run into a lot less problems when you have a you know flat square field versus the ones that they give you in Farming Sim you know 19. Because most of these fields aren't even like remotely flat. And combines will miss stuff. Like combine misses a spot right here every single time. He misses that spot where that divot is every single time over there. Yeah, just make sure your fields are, you know, well equipped for the, you know, the equipment that you're using. Equipped for the equipment. Words. Could you, like, be proper in some, some form of way? Anyway. So, once this guy gets done, once our other guy gets done, I'll bring you back. Let's see how far he is right quick. Is he finished? Oh, that was so fast if he was. That was only like a few minutes. Oh yeah, it's completed. Okay. Where's our money at? Check our money. We're at 194, give or take, because of our other guy. We started with 200k. That's what I wanted to right, that's what I wanted to do. Started with 200k. Let's collect. Boom, 210,000. So we're making 10 grand every time we do this. And it's super simple. Go back in there, look and see what's here. So fertilizing, fertilizing. I don't want to use any either one of those, to be honest. But yeah, and you could just do it that way. And so, uh, yeah, this is probably going to be a quick episode. Just, you know, a little, little quick run through. Our spray is just about done on how to make a little extra money and we've done two fields probably been here maybe like 30 minutes or so something like that and we're over 210,000 and I think we started off with 190 something like that so we made around 20 grand for 30 minutes not bad if I do say so myself um, so I think that's gonna be it for right now and you know if you guys uh, like this video or you know you want to see more or whatever go ahead and subscribe Hit that little notification button down there somewhere underneath this video. And uh, I'll see you all later.